Welcome back to the channel, guys. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Walker Farm Fam. Thanks for stopping by today. This is your first time here. This is... Ransom the Pepper Guy. This is Little Bear. He's over here in the stroller. He was not happy when Ransom and I came oh. outside with our pepper plants. He knew oh. we were going to the garden. And my name is Gary. Oh. And we want to welcome you to our farm. Uh, here at the farm, we have um, an impatient... Uh, little bear guy, he is our um, little foster son, and he is doing good, but like I said, we got to keep him happy, don't we? Yeah. Uh, but Ransom was not happy with me the other day. Why? You didn't get hot peppers. I only put bell peppers. So today, as I promised Ransom, I got him Anaheim hot peppers and jalapeno. So we're going to head out to the garden. We already planted three rows of corn. we got to plant three more. But stick around because we are going to be doing a big reveal today, Ransom. A big reveal. I want to move this stroller. Keep him happy until we take off. The big reveal of our donkeys. So a couple days ago, I took them to the vet to get pregnancy tested. And guess what? The results are back. We know the results. And stick around. We're going to let you know. Also, Ransom, I want to reveal something else right now. We have been planning out a big vacation for this summer, and we have finally decided where we're going to go. Uh, China? No, we're not, we are not going to China. I want to. Guess again. Uh. We're going to fly there. Uh, let me guess. Does it start with a C? No. It's Las Vegas, Nevada. But we're not going there to stay. We're just going there um, kind of as our destination city. We're going to go to the Grand Canyon, the biggest hole in the ground. Yay! And we're going to go... <laughs> and we're going to go to Utah. So we are going to go driving all the way from Nevada back to Oklahoma. We're going to stop on several spots around the way. Um, and Ransom, I started booking the travel. I want to tell them about that right now. It's almost summertime and we have finally booked our destination for this summer. We're trying to complete 50 states in five years. We've done 30 in three years, so we're almost there. This summer, we're headed to Nevada, and we're gonna go to Utah, the Grand Canyon, and see all kinds of states and parks along the way, and we are excited. But anytime you travel, there's a risk. You're jumping on public Wi-Fi at hotels, at coffee shops, trying to get that video uploaded along the road, and this year, we're gonna stay safe with Surfshark. Surfshark is a VPN, a virtual private network, and what it does is keeps you safe by encrypting all the information sent on the internet, whether it's from your device or computer, back and forth from the internet to your device. This keeps your personal data protected from big companies and cyber criminals. Also, the VPN swaps your IP address, so it takes the IP address on your device and changes it to a new one so nobody knows your exact location. One way I plan to use Surfshark on my upcoming trip is changing my location from Moab, Utah. I'll be there making transactions. It will appear as if I'm in Dallas, Texas. I'll also be using Surfshark's clean web feature. This will block ads, trackers, and malware that may be coming up on my device. That way, when I'm searching for that next great restaurant, I can do it with peace of mind. One of the best parts about Surfshark is they offer a 30-day money-back guarantee. So there's really no risk to try it. If you're interested, check out my link down in the description and make sure and use code WFF to get three months free. That's WFF for three months free. A big thanks to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. So I could never remember our kids being that impatient, but you have a little guy in a stroller and he thinks it is time to move so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna move out to the garden um, and plant some peppers some corn now this is Wednesday night it's our church night and we're gonna be heading to church soon so we've got to do this pretty quick but I already got a jump start ransom I already did all the tilling what is that you got ears so I did all the tilling that we needed to do and the corn is ready to put in the ground so like I said, we already planted three rows. We have three more to plant. And way down here is where we're gonna plant our pepper plants. So what do you wanna do first? Corn or peppers? Corn. Corn? I mean, peppers. peppers. Okay, let's push them right. Let's go right down here to our peppers then. And we're gonna get started. 
I've already got the hole dug, the holes dug. So right here is where we're gonna plant. So this little uh, plant holder is gonna keep somebody entertained while we get these in the ground. Pretty much anything that makes noise can be entertaining at this age. So Ransom's getting those down and I'll put these in. So I'm just gonna, we're just gonna do soil around these right now. And I'll come back a little later and put a little bit of mulch on the top um, to give them a little bit of protection from the hot, hot sun to keep those roots nice and uh, moist. All right. All right. Ransom the pepper man. So Ransom, what are our plans for these peppers? But you don't want just regular peppers. You want daddy to pickle them, right? Mm -hmm. So Ransom wants hot pickled peppers. So I think what we'll try to do is plant some pickling cucumbers as well. Uh, we'll do it in between our tomatoes and our corn. And if we do that, then we'll have um, the pickling set up already ready. So we'll pickle um, some pickles and some hot peppers at the same time. Yeah. Hey, that went pretty fast since dad dug the holes before you got home, didn't it? Yeah. And our squash, see how our squash is doing? It's doing good. Yeah. And our tomatoes. Hey, do you like tomatoes or do you like toes, Tommy toes? Which ones do you like? Or do you like Which those? ones do you like? <laughs> so these lemon drop tomatoes are actually already putting on a little bit of fruit. I had to stake them off uh i didn't know if the uh, plants were big enough to support that fruit yet so i staked them off and now we're going to plant some peaches and cream corn uh, we already planted some honey select and this will be um, three rows of peaches and cream and that'll give us six rows total three honey select and three peaches and cream uh, today's not nearly as windy as it has been but still got a little bit of wind out here and hopefully ransom will get some rain this week Especially after we get this corn in the ground, we could really use the rain. Oh. All right. So, so we always try to refresh our memory. Ransom, we want to do one about every three inches. So about like that, okay? You see that? And what we'll do is we'll actually come in here and thin them out later on. So if you want to work on that row, then daddy will plant this row right over here, okay? And this will give us a good start to um, our peaches and cream corn. I'd say this is probably our favorite corn. We were actually out of it, and that's why we planted that honey select. Um, if I had it to do, I'd probably do all six rows just in peaches and cream rain. So I like them that much. But what's your favorite corn? Maybe they can leave that down in the comments and let us know. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna bring uh, Little Bear in to see Mom. She uh, was busy for a few minutes, but I bet she's free now. And Ransom and I will catch up with you after we plant all this corn. So Ransom wants to use a hoe to cover. That works. Or if you only have one hoe, you can also just use your feet go through here we only want about an inch to inch and a half of uh, dirt on top of this and then hopefully we pray for rain and rain comes this week and our corn will start popping up next week so rain some you gonna say a prayer for rain yeah. all right say an extra one tonight okay I think that's part of the reason that I love gardening so much ransom we can do all that we can do but you know who has to make it grow huh that's right, God has to provide the rain and the sunshine, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. So we're finishing up here, so I think we're gonna head out to the donkeys and let you guys know what the results are from the donkey pregnancy test and uh, what our future plans are with the donkeys. So Cassie's feeling a little bit better. She went to the chiropractor today. Now you're going to get me helmets. Don't go there. So what do you guys think about chiropractors? I go like once a year. She does not go very often, um, but we were in town and she stopped by and her neck instantly felt better. 
But as we were walking out here, what did you say? <laughs> it's kind of getting a hitch in it again. Kind of getting a hitch in it. So I don't go to the chiropractor just because I don't have neck pain or... Um, He's the lucky one. His body never hurts. Back pain or really any kind of... I gotta get an off-road stroller. Pain like that. I think we're about ready to upgrade our stroller. Um, especially if I'm going to push him in the 5K, we're going to need a jogging stroller. So, what? Are you going to push him in the 5K? That was my plan. I've pushed all of our kids in the 5K. True. Ranger, Mazzy, Ransom, and why not Little Bear? So, all right. So that's the plan. I'm going to push him in the 5K. The donkeys will come up probably as soon as we walk through this gate because they cannot resist the... Um, food or anything like that but i want to start off cassie do you remember what happened when i told you about when i took them to the vet one got loose it was a fiasco one got loose but so i hadn't handled these donkeys but trying to get them in and out of the trailer was not fun or easy and well you've handled them out here just not they don't fly yeah we we haven't forced them into a vet office but we took them to the vet and we didn't know this about donkeys, but you have to do, um, what's it called? The ultrasound, the ultrasound uh, test for a pregnancy check on donkeys because they're so small. And when we were doing that, he had a hard time seeing because they have so much hair. And he said that they could really use a good brushing. So I thought I would come out and see what little Dolly or any of them thought about the brushing. So let's see what she thinks. Oh, nope, she ain't gonna like that, is she, Cassie? Nope. Do you wanna tell them the results of the pregnancy test or do you want me to? The results are in. You are the father. There is not a father. Bad news. Well, Patsy, they didn't check because you ran out of time and they looked at her and said, yep, she looks pregnant. And mainly, I, I ran out of time. I had to go pick up the kids as soon as the appointment was over. I didn't realize this was so time consuming. I figured and they had a process. It took 45 minutes to get both um, June and Loretta. Loretta pregnancy checked. And Dolly back in the trailer. And Dolly back in the trailer. So as soon as we got June on a lead and tried to push her out of the trailer, she Dolly snuck up beside her and ran out into the parking lot. And I had to course Dolly back into a pen and then we got uh, i made the appointments conveniently when i was at work june in cassie made the appointment so she was mia and it was a fiasco <laughs> to say the least i had to push i was sweating like managing those donkeys i was pulling with all my might but at the end of the day we got them tested um june they um definitely could not feel anything and could not see anything and loretta they thought they felt a little hoof but they ran the test and they couldn't see anything with her so unfortunately, and they're not Patsy, ready. I kind of wish they would have checked, which if she ain't pregnant, then she needs to quit eating. <laughs> um, just because I'd like to know if none of them are pregnant, but um, he said Dolly would be good to breed um, in the next year. Mm -hmm. So. So from this point, now we have to decide whether we're gonna get a Jack or try to find a Jack or what we're gonna do. Yeah, and with that, I want a spotted jack, so I'm gonna be picky. And we don't want a jerk of a jack, so we're gonna be real picky. There you go, and that might be not be tough to find. So, he, uh, June, come here, girl. You want one? Oops. There's a little bit of hair coming off. Now that's bringing more hair off right there. So June doesn't mind it, Cassie. Yeah, June's a good girl. So I would have to say though, while we were there, these donkeys were very, very entertaining. Dolly made a game out of jumping in and out of the trailer once I got her in a location 
where she could be um, handled in and out of the trailer. Uh, June here was probably the most uh, donkey attitude. She kicked at the vet probably six times and I was holding her in the front, a vet tech was holding her in the back and she was still everything that they wanted to handle. Yeah, June's a good girl, Cass. What was I saying about her yesterday? Huh? All right, well, sorry, June. I take back what I said. Yeah, you see that? Oh, yeah. Trying to keep them in the shade. Yeah, that, um,. If you turn them away from the sun, it's got a good, uh, it's got a good top on it to keep them shaded. All right, so look at down here. Yeah, June likes this. She's just standing here for it. So there we go. There are the results of the pregnancy tests. Taking the uh, vet's advice and getting a little bit of hair off. What? Blowing in my face. Hair? Yeah. But he, he was talking about the winter coat coming off, so. Talk to her. Hey, girls. Hi, honey. Talk to them. So we have seen um, Honey and uh, Alvin doing things together, which means hopefully that we will have a Kriya in the next uh, year or Mariposa, a year from now. I'm about to put you in that pen up there where you can't run away from your boyfriend. Hey, boyfriend. <laughs> Look, honey. Let's <laughs> see her kicking. Also, you know what I learned about the donkeys yesterday? If there is a bucket to turn over, if there is something to mess with, they are 100% going to mess with it. So they're like goats? They are like goats. They're like big, big goats. Just all the time doing something. Now this should be coming out, and it is, it's coming out really well there. All right, well, donkeys. To say we were disappointed is probably an understatement. Um, we bought these as bread, and we were really hoping that they were bread, right? Yeah. But you get what you get, and you don't throw a fit. We'll move on, and uh, hopefully Patsy really is bread. We'll, we'll walk over there by her, and you guys can have another look. A whole baby is a long time away. Yes. But take a look at Patsy here. I mean, she is... And that, this is the main reason we got them tested, is because she you is... You didn't even get Patsy tested! No, the main reason we got the other two tested is oh, because, because she's, she's, so she's three times bigger than them. What's looking at her, the vet tech thought... Oh, the vet tech said, oh yeah, she's definitely <laughs> pregnant. So, if, she's, if she has us fooled, she has other people fooled too. Man, that hair is flying out. Yeah, I can't find a good spot to stand. Do you see that? Sorry. And they're they are really good and tame though just standing still for you all right girls let me give you a treat i gotta take care of my pregnant girl here or at least hoping she's pregnant we could run her back down to the vet but it was a lot of work here you go how many chicks are there? Don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, four, fifty, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, twenty, nine, thirty. I think there's more than that. I counted thirty-two earlier, but I was right when I said that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh man, that's hard. Well, they're on top of each other. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Still on 32. Okay, I counted 33 that time. Hmm. So you guys let us know what you think. How many chicks are there? Oh yeah, because there was like 40 eggs and we thought 30 would hatch. Yeah. So we were both wrong because 
two two didn't make it that we put in here. Yeah, two so more hats than we thought they would. We had one chick that was probably half the size of all the other ones, and it did not make it. And then another one just was weak from the beginning, but. You can see we've got some nice color. Look at that red one, Cass. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's red as much as like chocolate. But they are doing awesome inside. Brandon gave me some chocolate Orpingtons. Brandon gave you some chocolate Orpingtons? Yeah. So they're doing great inside there and um, really doing awesome. This, this little brooder room has worked out really well. The next thing I want to build is a dedicated grow out pin. So this was our grow out pen. We kind of threw it up temporarily, but I'd like to give that whole barn back to the sheep and do a dedicated grow out pen. That one is also a grow out pen. You know pen. what I like the most though? What? When we put that Premier one with that and they went that way, but they were a little bigger then, huh? Yeah. I just don't like when it turns to dirt. So maybe a grow out tractor. I know. We're not worried about um, laying boxes, nesting boxes and that type of thing. What we're really interested in So Cassie said a week uh, four to six up to about eight, eight, six months old, four months old, four to six weeks up to about four to five months old is the age that we'd want. And we'd want to be able to hold about 40 to 60 chickens. Yeah, I, came, I was going to come turn them out. I thought Zena did it. So I did the chores right before the Cassie and the kids got home. And I keep the sheep up because I let the um, lambs eat all the food they want to eat right here. So you can see what was left over. We gave you a small vacation. So those lambs were not happy that they were without their mom for about uh 45 minutes total all right not seeing anything there oh and right over here we have one turkey egg that's by our narragansett hen there was a duck egg, egg in there this morning that's a turkey though yep good job tina eat your food tina watch out dog any eggs cassie no, I got one duck egg this morning. So the ducks. Two more duck eggs and another turkey egg. So there should be more duck eggs around. So I'm gonna walk out here for Cass. Well, they're probably laying them out there somewhere. And see, the ducks lay, love to go by this fence, but it's kind of hard to actually see where the ducks are laying at um, because they move around a lot. pick up this trash it's like going on an easter egg hunt every single day and if you're not familiar with why cassie's trying to collect the eggs she's going to an auction this weekend a chicken auction and she's actually going to sell duck eggs um turkey eggs and she's going to sell some american breast eggs all as hatchable purebred eggs so there's actually a pretty good market for that in this area people that like to hatch see any no. so we really hate to end the video with bad news i know the donkey's not being pregnant with some pretty bad news but guess what today is a new day the sun is shining there's a chance of rain which is good because we could really use the rain and i have some good news uh, i don't know if you guys are familiar but we have a sheep named hazel so this was actually the very first, um, one of the very first babies on our farm. Hazel um, was borderline big enough to breed last year. We thought she was big enough, so we went ahead and exposed her to the ram. We didn't know if she was bred or if she was just fat, but guess what? I have something to show you guys. This is exciting. So I don't want to fight a Tom turkey this morning. So me and Tom, once he, uh, once he sees my net, he's pretty much gone. I want to be pretty calm because look at the first time new mama 
Hazel had her baby. She's a little bit worried about it. So I'm gonna give her just a second, but I would like to go ahead and move um, Hazel's baby right in here in the shelter and go ahead and lock her in. That way she has everything she needs as far as hay and uh, stuff like that. But Zena is sitting here trying to get my attention. Yes, girl, I see you. Just don't paw me like that, that hurts. Um, but Cassie's curious. She wants to know whether it's a boy or a girl. And we are excited. This is our first white one. We had two black babies and now we have a white one. So. Go back over there with your baby. Go back over there. Go back over with your baby. Go. Go over there. Go. Hazel, go back over there with your baby. Go back over there with your baby. So it looks like a little girl sheep and uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave it alone because I don't want to disturb it anymore. Um, I checked it, it's a female and uh, Hazel would not follow me over towards the pen. I picked up the her baby and tried to take her to the pen. So I'll wait until she, um, looks like she still need to needs to deliver her afterbirth. Um, so I'm just gonna let her do her mom thing and uh, do her thing on her own instead of forcing her in there. I could probably catch her and put her up, but that is not something I want to do right now. So, Zena will keep a watchful eye out, and Hazel looks like she's being a good mama. You're all right, Hazel. I won't take your baby no more. I just wanted to check her and see what she was. It is amazing though. That's a first, first time mama. One thing we've noticed is these baby doll sheeps are really good moms. Um, they take care of their babies and do a good job. Uh, they're concerned about them, they're worried about them. And then we have endless entertainment with Rowdy the goat. He is pretty much taken up with the sheep. Okay, I know what you want. You see me out here. Here, Rowdy. You see me out here and you want me to hand you some leaves. That's how it works. So I'll probably wait till later this evening and I'll get Hazel and her baby up in the lambing pen and that way uh, we know she has everything she needs and Zena can be a little bit overly motherly sometimes, but that's okay. She's doing good right now. Isn't it cute? Oh, we've only had black babies so far, so it's pretty cool to have a white baby. Not that there's anything wrong with black babies, people. We love our black, our black lambs too, but now we have a little more variety we have a black one and a white one. So that is really exciting to have a new lamb on the farm. Um, I sent pictures to Cassie. She's on a field trip right now with Mazzy and Ranger um, at Harbor Village. So she was super excited to get those pictures and most excited that it was first of all white and second of all, it was a girl. So that means that she's gonna get to keep it and um, let it grow up here on the farm. So now we're gonna need a name. I know you guys are good at that. If you have something, her mom's name is Hazel. So I don't know if there's some kind of play on Hazel that you wanna do, but um, super excited. So happy that we could end with some good news. Not just the sad news about the donkeys, but now we have some good news, a new 
baby on the farm and doing great. Also, don't forget, if you're interested in Surfshark, the link is going to be down in the description. All the details will be there. So we thank you guys so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day. I know um, it means a lot to us for you to follow along with our family. We hope you have a great day and God bless.